On the evening of August 5th, 2012 Pacific Daylight Time, NASA's Mars rover, named Curiosity, entered Mars' atmosphere at 20,000 kilometers per hour. Drag slowed it down to around 1,600 kilometers per hour, at which point a parachute opened. This parachute slowed the rover more to about 320 kilometers per hour, or 90 meters per second. Finally, after rockets decelerated it completely, the rover was lowered to the surface of Mars. Every step of this dance was carefully choreographed and rehearsed in many experiments here on Earth. But how could NASA engineers be sure that their designs would work on a totally different planet? The answer is a problem-solving method called dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis. First, let us talk about what is dimension. Dimensions and units are related but different concepts. Physical quantities are measured in units, and the dimension of the physical quantity is independent of the particular unit chosen. For example, both grams and kilograms are units, but they are units of mass. Mass is what we call as dimension. Now let's know the five fundamental dimensions. We have length, mass, time, temperature, and charge. For example, no matter how you measure the physical quantity velocity, it has the dimension of length divided by time. So according to the representation, L over T. And now, the first step in Dimensional analysis is identifying the variables. Identify the dependent and the independent variables in the system. The dependent variable is a quantity being focused on in the system. The difficult part of this step is identifying all the correct variables involved. Once there is already a full list of the correct variables, we can then express the dependent variable as some function of the independent variables. The goal is to find the most general form of such a function. And there goes the Buckingham Pi theorem. This, pro this is the process of coming up with the most general form of the function to describe the dependent variable using the independent variables. So this problem is an example of using the Buckingham Pi theorem, which allows you to relate things in terms of dimensionless parameters. So in this particular problem, we're going to look at a situation when a small pebble is dropped into a liquid. When this happens, small waves travel outward, and the speed of these waves, which we are going to call c, is assumed to be a function of the liquid density, rho, the wavelength, the wave height, and the surface tension of the liquid. So we have five variables, c, rho, lambda, h, and sigma. We have three reference dimensions, m, l, and t. So 5 minus 3 equals 2. We should have two pi groups. So let's pick as our repeating variables. The first one we'll pick is h because it's the simplest. You know that we can't pick c because that's the variable that we're interested in. Once we've picked h, we can no longer pick lambda because lambda has the same dimension, l, as h. So that leaves as our repeating variables 
H, Rho, and Sigma, okay? So now let's take a look at our Pi 1. So our Pi 1 is going to involve C, and then our repeating variables H, Rho, and Sigma. So let's look at their dimensions. C is L over T, then L to the A, since that's what H is, M over L cubed to the B, because those are the dimensions of Rho, and then M over T squared to the C, because those are the dimensions of surface tension. And this has to equal M to the zero, L to the zero, T to the zero. So let's first do a T balance. So minus one, minus two C, because that's where we get our T from, and it's on the bottom, has to equal zero in order for this to be dimensionless. So that allows us to so solve for C. So C equals negative one half. And what that means in our pi group is that the variable that's represented by C, which is sigma, is going to be raised to the one half. Okay, well, let's do M. So there's no M in the first term, but we have B plus C has to equal zero. Since we know that C is negative one half, B has to be positive one half. And finally, we look at L. There's a one from the first term, plus A from the second term, minus three B from the third term, nothing in the C term, and this has to be equal to zero. Since B is one half, when we solve for A, that ends up being one half. And so our pi one is going to equal our first term, C. And now when we look at what A is, which is represented by H, we see that's to the positive one half. So that's the square root of H. When we look at B, that's to the positive one half. So that's rho divided by the square root of sigma. Again, because it's negative one half. So one of the things we absolutely have to do is check our dimensions to make sure that this is dimensionless. So we start with C. So that's L over T. H, which is L, is raised to the one half. Then rho, which is M over L cubed, is raised to the one half. So that's M to the one half. L to the 3 halves, and now sigma, which is on the bottom, which is raised to the 1 half, so that's M on the bottom to the 1 half, and then T squared to the 1 half, which is just T. And if you take a look at this, these all cancel out, and this is dimensionless. So now let's look at our pi 2. So our pi 2 now is going to be lambda, H, rho, and sigma. All right. So lambda is L. We have H to the A, rho to the B, sigma to the C. And this has to equal m to the zero, l to the zero, t to the zero. And actually, if we look by inspection, we see because there's no t, um, except for in the c term, that c has to equal zero. And if c equals zero, then the only place that m appears is in the b term. So b equals zero. So that leaves us with a equals negative one. Our pi two, therefore, is lambda over h. And we write this as c the square root of h times rho divided by the square root of sigma equals some function, that's what they use in the book, of lambda over h.
mong tanawin kung unsa na mga variable ang na-involve sa imong problem. So, kanina problem is na kay variable t, which is the time, nga dependent sa imong mang density, viscosity, length, or ang um, distance na na-travel and acceleration due to gravity. So, G, as you can see, we have five variables na involved sa atong problem. And, kanina mga variables na ay tulong ka dimensions, which is mass, time, and length. And from this, mabala na to kung pila ka pi groups ang kinahanglan para sa atong baking ang pi theorem. So, number of pi groups is equal to number of variables minus the number of dimensions. So, 5 minus 3, we have 2 pi groups. So, before forming your pi groups, write first your variable in terms of their fundamental dimensions. So, here we have time equal to e, rho, which is equal to mass over L cube, L double L, G equal to 1, oh, L over squared and your viscosity which is equal to mass over length times time. Since na kay lima ka variables and duha ka pi groups, so na yung tulong ka variables na mag-balik-balik or repeating variables and duha ka pili. So, ang ino yung consider sa pagpili sa inyong repeating variables so first, pili ang inyong dependent variable which is the rate so, dili na siya pwede. And next, mamili ka sa upat na nabili. So, ang pili yun is ang naipinakasimple na expression. So, ang pani, density, and like yung acceleration should be gravity. So, mauna niya ako ang 2 pi groups. Ang first group is na ito ang dependent variable, which is the time, and the 3 repeating variables. And ang atong second group is ang katong variable na nawalan na pili and of course, ang ato ang three repeating variables. To continue with the backing up by theorem, solving for pi 1, write all the variables in terms of their fundamental dimensions. So, you, we have p, rho, length, and the acceleration due to gravity. So, the three variables, erase na itong siya another variable. So, ang ako ilan na exponent sa rho kay A, then L kay B, and for R, G is C. Equate them with M to the 0, L to the 0, and T to the 0 to solve their respective exponent. So, we have m raised to a. Kaya wala ka tayo yung m dari. Nagira na a. Then l raised to negative 3a plus b plus c. And t raised to 1 is 1 minus 2c. Equals m to the 0, l to the 0, then t to the 0. So, we equate na to each exponent to 0. So, we have a is equal to 0. Then, kanita na na expression, I express uh, a equal to 0. So, we have b equals to negative 1 half. Then, c is equal to 1 half. So, next, isulat ni mo ba ni mo original var variables? The t, rho, l, and the g. So, gamit so na nakuha ni mo na mga exponents. Baka ni mo siya dali sa yung original variable. So, yung rho is equal to uh, raised to the 0. L raised to the b, which is equal to negative 1 half. Then, g raised to the c, which is 1 half. Simplifying, so, makuha na to is pi 1 is equal to t square root of g over l. Then, next, para sa yung second group,
pai ko. So, kung um, nagpusita sa checking. So, dapat ato ang groups kay dimensionless. So, write each variable kay in terms of their fundamental dimension. So, P times L over P squared and so on and so on. So, makita ni mo na magkansal-kansal na sila by their exponents. Dapat result sila equal to one or makainun ka na dimensionless ang kanina. In conclusion, to the backing ang pi theorem, makakuha tayo yung ani na expression. So, p times square root of g over l, which is the first group, is equal to a function of the second group na mu over rho square root of g times l cube. So, g p finally, to solve the problem, Makumpare na ito ang parameters sa model sa prototype. Since ang unknown kay time sa prototype, pwede na natin yung magamit na by group. But wala tayo given na value sa L. So since na may L ang hindi sa pitas ng group, so kanya sa itong gamitin para magkuha ng aquatag value para nani. To solve for the length, equate the same expression for the prototype and for the model using the second point group. So, simplifying, kailangan ka makakuha o equation na L over LP in terms of what? So, nakakuha ka ni UM over UP, rho P over PM times GP over GM. So, since sa Earth rho man niya, so, same ra ang sa prototype ng sa model na G. So, pwede na ko na siya i-cancel. So, ang mabili kay kanina lang yung luha. So, since given man ang ato ang UP na equal sa 10 times uh, raised to the power of 6 UM times given code ang ato ang density sa prototype ng sa model. So, masolve na nato ang ato like using ang ato mga values. So, to solve for the time, which is the unknown, it weighs the same expression for the prototype and for the model using the first pi group. So, simplify in such a way na makakuha kang value sa time sa prototype na magamit ni mo ang atong na solve na like the rate. So, simplify further, makakuha pa o expression na pp is equal to pm square root of lm over lp raised to the negative 1. So, the make, i-cancel na to ang g because mariha ganina, same, anara na sa earth, so same na sila mag-cancel ng sila to ha. So, ang atong time for the model is given by 2.5 hours and nakakuha na tag-answer para sa itong lm over lp. So, substitute. Then, makakuha na tayong tag-answer na Time for the prototype, 495.3 hours, or which is approximately equivalent to 20.6 days. So, GD, to solve your problem, kung sa model, the time it takes to travel from A to B, kay 5.5 hours. So, kung sa prototype, using the actual parameters, the time to it takes to travel from A to B is 495.3 hours. Okay, pass your paper. Buksan ang pag-iisip Tayo'y likas na scientist Tayo na sa sinuskwela Buksan natin ang sinensya Pinabukasan ang ating bayan Siguradong makakampan